What's up guys? Back with another pickups video. This one right here I think was probably around a year ago when I picked this up. And this one here was one that I got at the same flea market where you seen the live footage at. It was the, actually the first Sega lot I got and it was pretty good man. Uh, first off we'll just start off with the Model 2 Sega Genesis console. This one's really clean. And I had it in a bag over there because I got two more of these. But that was the console. It did come with two controllers. First was a regular three button controller. Really good condition on these, by the way. And a six button turbo controller. Which is a little bit smaller than that, than this one. I never really paid much attention, but... It's a little bit smaller. And that comes in handy for fighting games because if you was playing Mortal Kombat, you had to use like two buttons for a high kick and two buttons for high punch. I'm not sure if start came into play there. It may have. I think on Weapon Lord you can change uh, move style or something like that with it. And it did come with the Genesis Model 3 and this one here has a bunch of pre-programmed games on it which is kinda cool I don't really know how many but a lot of the really good Genesis titles are pre-programmed onto this one and it did come with the power supply and stuff and so did the Model 2 which is cool so I don't have to hunt those up because I, I think I only got one spare set and then it did come with quite a few games First off, we got Aladdin. It's got a little beat up label damage. And this is a title that was better on the Genesis than it was the Super Nintendo. So I was glad to get that. And we got a copy of Chacken. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Really strange game. I played it a little bit for maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes. It seems pretty cool though. So I might end up trying to beat that one. And I have already beat Aladdin. Then we got Echo the Dolphin. It's a kind of weird game. I never really cared much for it, just to be honest. But there's Echo the Dolphin. Then we got Lethal Enforcers, Gunfighters 2. I'm not sure if that's a pricey title. I've not really cataloged or looked up any of the Sega stuff I've got here. And we got MTV's Beavis and Butthead. That was an awesome show back in the day. We didn't have cable. I didn't get to see it. So all my friends at school was talking about Beavis and Butthead. And then finally a buddy that I knew had it up like on VHS and I got to watch it. So that's cool. Then we got Sonic Spinball. I played this a lot. The very first uh, Sega we got this was with it. Which was it was fun to play. And we had a choice between the Super Nintendo and the Sega, and me and my brother chose the Sega. Which I'm glad I did, and this, I'm glad this one's next. Mortal Kombat was better on Sega, I think. Super Nintendo may have had a little bit of an edge with sound. But uh, Sega had the blood code. Then we got a Sonic the Hedgehog, the first one, and this one is a not for resale cart. And somebody stuck a label over it. Let's see if I can get that off real quick. But this one here would have sold with like a core console bundle, and that come off really nice. So yeah, if somebody needed to complete like the a boxed Genesis, this would be good to have. And we got Sonic 2, also not for resale. Then we have a copy of Desert Strike Return to the Gulf. That's somebody's written on it there with a ballpoint pen. I've not played that one, so I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it's like a helicopter game or something like that. Then we got Bimini Run. I think I'm pronouncing that right. 
Bimini run. Not played that one either. It's got some label damage here. And then we got Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. And that one I'm not really for sure on price. Like I said, I don't really know that much about the price on Sega stuff. Then we got a beat up Last Action Hero. Beat to crap. But back when I first got this, I tried all these. They all worked except for this one. I never could get it to work. I cleaned it. I took it apart and everything. So this is a non-working cart. But it's got a pretty good label. So if I ever found one that works, I can swap out the label. Then Miss Pac-Man tension cart. Everybody loves Pac-Man, right? Then the, these last three are... I'll just start with this one. Weapon Lord. This is one of the most awesome fighting games ever made. You, the way you did fatalities, you just did moves and linked them and combos helped build the fatality, which was cool as heck on this. I always did love this title. And they should bring this back and not mess it up. They should bring it back just like it is, except make it look better and add, you know, new characters and stuff. So that would be really interesting to see if that did come back. Then Zombies Ate My Neighbors. This one here has some label damage too, right there. And the cart's a little dirty, but there's a little label damage right there too. But that's a pretty pricey title for the Sega Genesis. And then lastly. Save the best for last. Contra Hardcore. And this one here has a pretty nice label on it. Pretty good condition on that one. And this is a pricey title. I think it, on the Genesis this may go from like 30 to 40 bucks. Depending. So, uh... This lot here, like I said, I got it at the same flea market. But it was... It might have been like a year ago. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. But... I was just walking around, there was a dude that had like a trailer with tools on it, there was lawnmowers and stuff like that. No game related items there, and I asked him anyway, because I always do ask. He said, yeah, there's a box of, uh, he cursed, he said, there's a box of beep 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 game beep back there. I'm, I'm pretty much just, I'd let you have it just to get it away from my son. I'm like, dang, dude, can't play games at his house. And uh, I said, okay. And he did. He went back there and picked it up and he just gave it to me. So I was like, what? I'm just shocked. I'm like, dang. I'm thinking I need to get away as quick as I can before he changes his mind. So I you know, shook his hand and I said, thank you. And he said, he said, no, thank you. And I was like, all right. So I left with it. And that was amazing. Still to relive the, the actual pick was amazing right now. So that was the first thing a lot I got. And I'm a big faggot. Uh, See, I do that every video. I've told you guys this. I always mess something up like that. But I film it live, so I just leave it in there. So uh, to all you guys that watch the videos, thank you very much. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next ones. You guys have a good night. Next ones.